he publishes a lot, right? So I like to learn from from these types of um, of leaders and and figure out well how, how what is their process, what is their system. So he's published this one 15 hours ago, this one a day ago, this one two days ago, this one three days ago, this one four days ago, this one five days ago, this one six days ago, this one seven days ago, right? So what are we learning here? It's important to be consistent, and he doesn't. He doesn't just talk about being consistent. He really, he really does the work. Now, I, I suspect that he has a big team. I'm a, I am a, you know, somebody that's just doing this by myself, at least for now. Um, but it takes a lot of work to do this. And if you want to build your life after going through a challenge, you've got to be thinking about what you're going to do in the future. In 2009, I suspect that when he started investing the time and the energy to begin building this. He recognized this is going to be an evolution. In our courses that we teach about the CEO mindset um, from prison professors, we talk about having a strategy and documenting that strategy, creating tools, tactics, and resources, and then measuring progress every single day. I suspect that if he wasn't doing it here, there came a point where he became very uh, disciplined about producing content on a regular basis because he wanted to build something. If you're facing challenges with the criminal justice system, whether you're going inside, whether you're already in there, or whether you're coming out, it's really important to begin thinking about what can you do today to sow seeds for a better outcome. One of the leaders that I like to learn from is this fellow here by the name of Evan Carmichael. And I'm filming this on July the 6th, 2020. And this Twitter, uh, this tweet that he sent out really caught my eye. You see, Evan Carmichael is a pretty big YouTuber. I, I watch his channel frequently. You can click it right here, YouTube, and I can just type in Evan Carmichael. And the reason I look at him is because he's very positive. He's always giving, you know, really encouraging information. Um, most of it is really a what I would call a, a compilation of, or he's like an aggregator, right? So there's a lot of people out there that are producing motivational, inspiring information that I think is really helpful to anybody going through struggle. And I like to look at it myself so I can learn a little bit of, well, how did he do it? How does he build this? Um, there's a lot to learn from his channel. You can see the, the, the symmetry of his thumbnails. They all look the same. But what was important to me today is you notice him now, he's a, he's a big YouTuber. He's got 2.4 million subscribers. If I click over here on his home, my TubeBuddy account shows me that he has, I want to stop him from speaking, shows me that he generates about 10.5 million views every single month. Um, he produces, he's had 351 million total views since he started the channel. And if I look back to videos here, to his oldest video, I can, I can click that by hitting right here, oldest. You can see that he started this quite a long time ago, 11 years ago. Okay. But in his tweet today, what he shows us is how the, the channel grew over time. On July 1st, 2009, he wrote that he only had 42 subscribers. 2010, a full year later, he had 119 subscribers. 2011, 422 subscribers. 2012, 846 subscribers. So it took him almost four years, from what we can see here, before he crossed 1,000 subscribers. Four years of producing content all the time. But then look what happened. 2013, he had 2,800 subscribers. That was the year that I got out of prison. 2014, he had a really grow, growth spurt where he had 11,000 subscribers, then 59,000 subscribers, then 347,000 subscribers. That was about the biggest year-over-year -year growth. Then he doubled to 745,000 subscribers, then a million four then a million nine. And in this year, right now, he's got 2.4 million subscribers. The takeaway from this is that you've got to be planting seeds all the time if you want to change your life, if you want to grow your, your uh, value in society. And if you've gone through the criminal justice system or if you're in prison, you've always got to be thinking about what can I do today to begin positioning myself for a better outcome in the months, years, and decades ahead. I can tell you, I just started a new channel 
uh, to, to promote this brand that I've started, cbdtv.com. This is a tool that I'm using to, uh, with hopes of generating more resources to fund prison professors. Um, I, I created a collaboration with a, a few other companies. You can see I'm just starting to start publishing videos. So right now I only have three subscribers and it may take a while for, them, for me to grow this channel, but I'm going to grow it. I'm going to grow it by pro, uh, publishing reviews of the product cycles and, and so on. I'll publish a review of how I started this and why I started this. I will publish interviews with, with some of the, the partners that I put together to build this coalition, to build this e-commerce platform. Now, prison professors, I began right as soon as you can you can actually go to the video page. As you can see, I started this channel right when I transitioned to a halfway house from a federal prison. That was seven years ago. I was uh, locked inside of the halfway house in San Francisco. That's a little video right there. Um, the first one that I published, I, I mean, I, I did it on my iPhone. I didn't know what I was doing. I started publishing a little bit more, just trying to document the journey of what I was doing as I was going through uh, my transition into society after 25 years in prison. And I wasn't yet free. I was still inside of the halfway house. So you can kind of see how this all developed over time. And it took several years for me to, to grow this channel, but it's really been documenting the different iterations of my career. And I continue to do this, whereas recently I've begun using this channel primarily to teach people in prison who are in custody, helping them understand how to work uh, consistently over a long period of time to prepare for a life of meaning and relevance and dignity. And all of that is just a cons continuous investment of time. If you look at my homepage of that channel, you can see that we have, um, I'm going to stop him from talking there. You can see that we have more than 700 videos that we've published already, but it's still not a big channel. I don't think it'll ever be a big channel like uh, my friend Ro Clausen, who runs Strong Prison Wives and Families. She has 12,000 subscribers, and she generates, you know, uh, uh, three videos every single week. Um, she provides a great resource for people who have loved ones in jail or prison. But this fella here has a is going after a much bigger market. It has nothing to do with prison. It has to do with, um, you know, reaching your highest potential. And so he 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 gets information from other people like Gary Vaynerchuk, who's there on his banner, Anthony Robbins, Walt Disney. He publishes a lot, right? So I like to learn from from these types of um, of leaders and and figure out well how. What is their process? What is their system? So he's published this one 15 hours ago, this one a day ago, this one two days ago, this one three days ago, this one four days ago, this one five days ago, this one six days ago, this one seven days ago, right? So what are we learning here? It's important to be consistent. And he doesn't he doesn't just talk about being consistent. He really he really does the work. Now I, I suspect that he has a big team. I'm a I am a you know somebody that's just doing this by myself at least for now. Um, but it takes a lot of work to do this. And if you want to build your life after going through a challenge, you've got to be thinking about what you're going to do in the future. In 2009, I suspect that when he started investing the time and the energy to begin building this, he recognized this is going to be an evolution. In our courses that we teach about the CEO mindset um, from prison professors, we talk about having a strategy and documenting that strategy creating tools, tactics, and resources, and then measuring progress every single day. I suspect that if he wasn't doing it here, there came a point where he became very uh, disciplined about producing content on a regular basis because he wanted to build something. And that strategy is what led to him building a business. You can click here on his um, About channel, and I suspect he's going to have a lot of links to different businesses here including, um, you know, uh, what do you got here? He's got an Instagram page. Let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at his Facebook page. Let's take a look at his Twitter page. Let's take a look at his Snapchat page. Let's take a look at what VIP experiences are. 
And if we click on all those, you're going to see he's got 193,000 subscribers on Instagram. He's publishing all the time. He's effectively a media company. Take a look at his Facebook channel. His Facebook page has 40,000 people who like it, 68,000 people following his work. Uh, apparently, he's got a shopping store. Let's take a look at his shopping store, right? What is he selling? He's selling shirts, Okay, this is one of the ways that he generates resources to support his work. He's got a Twitter feed with how many subscribers? 209,000 subscribers. A Snapchat use, I don't even have Snapchat, so I can't even check that. Um, but then he's got a section here where he monetizes his work. So you can buy his book, plus you can get um, a copy of Built to Serve for $27, a signed book plate and access to one of Insider's Facebook groups for monthly video calls. So he charges $1,200 for these monthly video calls. Um, here, he's selling different packages. So this is the way that he earns a living from his work. But all of it requires you to sow those seeds to do a tremendous amount of work. And look at all the different price points for his VIP experiences. Um, this one, he sells for total cost $247. This is a $500 product to get him on your show or your podcast. I'm wondering whether I should do that to, to, to subscribe and get him on our podcast. That might be something interesting so that I could bring his message into jails and prisons. A one-on-one -on -one coaching, he charges $500 for, for this product. Um, one on one coffee, you have a thousand, spend a thousand dollars, you could have a cup of coffee with him. Get mentored by Evan, two thousand um, dollars to get a hundred copies of this product. Um, access to Insider's six months of 55 minute consult, six months of one hour consulting calls with Evan, one call per month. Wow. So a call per month for six months, he charges a thousand dollars a call. So he's charging a thousand dollars an hour. Okay, but you can get all of this for $2,000 if, uh, if you pursue this path. Become a thought leader, $3,000, and become a legend, total cost $10,000. What's this? You get 400 copies of the book, you get access to Insider's Facebook, you get all kinds of things here. And then you, you so this is, he's become a store, and he's branding himself with the store. This is really interesting for somebody who's in prison. If you start thinking about what you want to become, you can begin sowing the seeds to get this VIP experience. I really like this. I've just learned something from him, and I hope that you are learning something as well. So this is somebody that I consider a mentor, even though I've never spoken with him. I've never um, you know, had any interaction with him whatsoever. But I will do my best to continue learning from him and to continue providing value for anybody that is a member of the Prison Professors program. If you have not yet subscribed to Prison Professors, it's my hope that you will. Um, you can do that by just clicking, as you see right here, subscribe. And if you do subscribe, you are going to be notified every day. You can see that we publish new videos every day. Uh, we also take these videos inside of jails and prisons in America with hopes of helping more people understand that they don't have to come out of prison uh, with the stereotypical adjustment strategy that leads to so many challenges and struggles in the community. We want people to come back strong, and in order to do that, that really begins with the decisions they make at the earliest stage of the journey. So please, if you'd like to get this type of content, please subscribe to our channel, and please uh, support our sponsors here at uh, cbdtv.com. You can see from our sponsors, we've got a phenomenal website that I'm super excited about. Um, you can get CB, all types of CBD products. You can see that there's edibles and tinctures and you know, and every type of product. It's pretty simple to, to order this. Um, you, know, you just click right here, um, just click uh, one, add to cart, there it is. Plug your credit card number, view your cart, and it gets shipped to your, to your home uh, in, a, in a plain envelope. In fact, I, on the CBD channel, that was one of the first videos that I created was to uh, show uh, people exactly how the entire process works. And I'm creating new videos for this just like I am for prison professors. So if you are interested in CBD, 
it's my hope that you will subscribe. And I, and I would also uh, recommend that you take a look at my friend, Evan Carmichael. It's not, I, I, I might be a little bit much calling him my friend, but it is somebody that I learned from. And I just wanted to share this, this video with you as well. So please subscribe to Prison Professors and support our sponsors at CBDTV.com. Thank you.